My name is Sarah Jane Hope. I, gosh, how should I introduce myself? Well, I'm a daytime Emmy nominated etiquette expert and host um, of Netflix show Mind Your Manners. Make sure to check it out. You know, with Mind Your Manners, it's really about helping my students become their best selves. Um, and it throws out the conventional idea of etiquette as a big don't, where, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, it's old fashioned. Instead, for me, etiquette is one big do. So with etiquette, it can empower you to know what to do in any situation with any person, um, and no matter how tricky it is. So when I was 14, I left Hong Kong to study in the US at Phillips Exeter, Georgetown University, and then Harvard Business School. But my days in Beijing were really critical to, well, first of all, I founded China's first finishing school, Institute Sarita, in 2012, so over 10 years ago now. And living in both the US, in both China, learning to sort of switch between different cultures, people, was a big survival tactic for me growing up. Um, and it's a part of my ethos of etiquette. To me, I mean, part of me is very American having studied in the States. And part of me is very Hong Kong Chinese, um, having grown up in Hong Kong and now living in, in, in mainland China. So I feel that I'm a blend of both these cultures and whenever I'm in either culture, a bit of that comes out a bit more. But if you watch my new manners, you'll see that I bring a lot of traditional Chinese medicine into my makeovers for my students, whether it's acupuncture, um, Chinese traditional herbs, feng shui, and to me, it's a way of living. It's one of the most incredible things about Chinese heritage. Mind Your Manners, guys, it was, it was delayed for about two years due to the pandemic, but I'm really glad that it aired right after the pandemic because we all came out of the pandemic feeling like, oh, our social skills are a little rusty. Well, we've been so accustomed to being alone. Well, now we realize actually we're humans. We need each other. We need that social interaction to lead happy lives. And we need to come out of our shell and really socialize. What does it mean to be Chinese today? And you know, the funny thing is I I guess I never really I never really identified myself as being Chinese or, you know, American educated. I just I just thought of myself as me being me, Sarah Jane Ho, and living my life day by day. And we're all citizens of the world. Um, so no matter where we come from, we are interacting with other people from different cultures, we're traveling for tourism, we're studying all over the place. I don't think it's fair for us to restrict ourselves by our country. And I think it's important for us to think of ourselves as citizens of the world because we have one ocean, right? We have, we're sharing the world's resources in terms of the forest, the air, the sky. And so we, everything that we have to do as human beings is for humanity as a whole and we shouldn't divide ourselves by countries.